hi welcome back to laravel 8's tutorial and today we will discuss about laravel models and how it is using and how to fetch a record from database and how to connect with the table basically model responsible to interact with databases in laravel for each model they have corresponding models which allows to interact with that table Laravel provides a very easy way to create, insert, update, delete, and fetching records from database. In Laravel 8, we will get all models inside the app models folder. So here, user.php is a model. In the previous, we don't have any models folder. The model is staying just in the app root directory. So here is my table that is students and here is my laravel a database i want to create a model to fetch a record from the students table so to create a model we need to use php artisan make model my model name is student so the model is created so if we refresh this we can see there is a student model is created now we need to set the student table here so to assign a table we will use the protected the table and inside the table i am assigning the name of the table that is students table so here we will write the students here now i will call this model from a controller function so let's create a controller that is php artisan make controller here my controller name is suppose student controller so controller is created now if we refresh this page we can see the new controller is added here so now to call the student model we need to use a function so now I am going to create a function to call this model. So here my function is public function. Suppose index. Okay. And we will call this model. To call the model, we need to use the models that is use models and my model name is student. So now I need to call the database with the class name. So to call this, we will suppose we will take a variable where I will store all the student data and I will call the student model here. And I want to get the all records from the student table. So I am using the all. This is very simple. If you write the all, it will return the all record from that table so now i am returning the student variable so now we need to so now we need to call this function from routes so to call this function from routes we need to use app is to controllers and my controller name is student controller and after that we will create a route that is route i am providing a gate method here that is i am using the student link for that and after that the student and after that the name of the controller is student controller and class and then we need to write the method name that is index and now I am going to name this route that is student.index. So, so now all is set up. We are calling from route uh, the controller function and controller requesting to the student model. So we need to start the server that is php artisan serve. So now if we use 
the student link here so you can see the output the one two three four five there is five records the sochin john robert mike david it's all the records i'm getting now i am going to show you some another things while fetching the records so if you want to filter this record we can filter as per our requirement so how we will do this Suppose I want to get the only record for David that is the ID is 5 so if you know the ID so we can write the simply we will use the find 5 that means it will return the only value which ID is 5 so we can see here and the next thing if we use the get method also we will get all things just like all and we can use our condition suppose i want to provide where status equal to one so in our database we have the status one is four and for robert the status is zero so if you run this we can see the one two four five is output the one to the four the three is not coming to this record so we can filter in this way we can we can easily order by our record so if i want to set the order by that is i want to order with the name and i want to see in ascending order so if you write this that will in order so you can see the david is coming first after the j and after that m and after that s now we can order in descending just provide in the dsc method so we can see the descending order also and if you want to select only the name we can write here the select method here and let's see i want to see only the name and email we can write this also so only name and email will come in and others are not and if I want to say suppose alias name so if I want to say the name is as student name so if you run this you can see the student name is Sochin student name is Mike student name is John in this way and now if you want to get only two records only two records we can use the take syntax the take methods that is I want to say the two so if you run this we will get the only two records from this condition now the other things if you want to plug only the name so how we can do this so in laravel also provide the plug method so i am providing the name only and it will plug only the name that is sochin john robert mike david so it will only getting the name hello as per normal SQL, we can use the aggregate function also. So if we use the count method here, we can see the number of counts. It's five records. There is five records inside the student's table, and we're getting the student. And if we want to set the average of anything that is numeric, uh, I want to set the marks here. So if you write the marks here. We can see the average of these things that is 84 and the same way if you want to see the max we can see the max result that is 95 if i say we can see the mean we can see the mean record that is 70 and if you want to print the sum of all marks from this table we will get this that is 4 to 0 so this is the aggregate function example for this and so i want to show you some other things that is the group by so how can we group by suppose i want to group by the records with the status and i want to display how many are inside these status so how can we write this so inside the select statement we will just select a raw function we can write the raw function here and i will say you only count star as suppose i am providing the alias name that is user count 
and after that I am checking the status that is status so I am selecting only the, those things and we need to set the group by that is group by using the status and I want to get these things so we need to use the gate method so if we run this we can see oops uh, there will not be select there will be the name of the class uh, so if we run this we can see the user count one status zero and user count four is status that means in the zero status we have only one user and for one status we have only four user so you can see this from here so now you can understand the model creation and basic things of how you can face data from database using model so in our upcoming video we will learn about laravel migration how to create migration and then we will learn about laravel joining please comment if you have any queries so thanks for watching bye bye